All right, the fact that I'm here recording this video is mind-blowing, but I understand I might not have explained things properly. I'll do it quick and efficiently because people apparently hate it when I talk on my own channel, you know what I mean? Because God forbid I talk in my own video, right? So I had some people commenting saying that um, uh, the method I showed didn't work, um, and I understand why, um, and I'm going to show you where you guys went wrong, but it's okay. Wait, I just realized that people were complaining about me talking, but I literally have timestamps for you to skip past that. That's interesting. So what I think people are having issues with is when they go to the Wayback Machine and they simply do plutonium.pw, you get all the screenshots and the idea is because what people are having issues with is that you can't get the torrent file anymore to be able to download Black Ops 2, like say, or, or whatever, say you're trying to install Black Ops 2 Plutonium. You can do that the normal way, which the instructions are on the website if you own the game through Steam or if you want to buy the game through Steam, that's a much easier way to do it. Or if you didn't want to buy Black Ops 2 at all, you had this option. Um, because of the season desist, which I left a comment, like a pinned comment on my other video that a lot of people just scrolled by and yelled at me for, they had to take it off their website. So we found a, uh, it's like someone in my comments found a way around it called the Wayback Machine, which I've known about and I honestly didn't think about this. All it is is you simply just go back a year or so to when the torrent was on there and let's say June 3rd. It doesn't matter. You guys got to look around it yourself. Don't just copy the exact date that I, that I did because you might click something wrong or I don't know. They might change it. I, I have no clue because, I mean, the way I did it works. And then you click download and you go do it the same way. You go find the, where the torrent file was here. Uh, right here, uh, this is kind of the one you want, torrent file, because once you click this, actually, let, let me move me down. Once you click me, um, it'll start downloading and bam, you have it. You could say like, oh, why don't you just share the torrent file with us? Because I don't want my channel taken down. I don't want to I don't want to strike for providing a torrent file. I can't do that. That's why I stopped doing the links. I had an issue with that with like the older videos when like it was when the torrents were actually still up on the website. I would put that in my description and I got YouTube channel strikes for that. So I'm not doing it. Just go to the fucking website. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, there was another one. Um, let me see if I can find an example because there was like a, a Google Drive link that was that used to be there. Um, I don't know if it was back in 2021 or what, but there was a like a Google Drive file that doesn't work anymore if that's what you click. I can't find it anymore, but there was there was literally a uh, there was when uh, like a time where the link was a Google Drive file and that doesn't work. So you just got to go around looking for yourself. It does work. Uh, I, I've tried multiple different instances of it. I've downloaded the torrent file multiple times. It is still there because this is something that the guys on Plutonium can't like change. They they can't change this because it's the Wayback Machine that runs this. Unless they personally contact the Wayback Machine to get these screenshots taken down, which I don't think they will. It's not their problem. They can't get in trouble with uh, Activision for this. So it's, it's literally the same thing. You download Plutonium EXE, you go to the uh, forum and you sign up for an account and then in the plutonium.exe that you install you log in and of course you install the torrent file with qubit torrent it is um recommended that you get a vpn does it matter what vpn you use not really just find a free one um and just run that while you're downloading the torrent file just to be safe you don't necessarily have to but it definitely is safer if you do it that way and then once that's done everything will be in the plutonium launcher like you'll see where it says setup click that it'll open up you'll find the directory of the game that you just installed and then yeah that's when you should be able to play and you just just follow these instructions on here it, it can't be more clear and there's also some error files if you have any issues and the same goes for the other plutonium games like Modern Warfare 3, World at War, all that. It's the same exact thing. Now in regards to the DLCs, so like right here you have the normal game torn file and then down a little bit more you have the torn file for the DLCs which you would do the same exact thing. And just make sure you follow these instructions so that you don't create a subfolder, all that stuff because you're going to install this into the BO2 folder that you just installed. And of course it'll be quite literally the same thing with Modern Warfare 3 but it's it's all very simple. I it's just easier to sit down here and make a video instead of going through the shit ton of comments that tell me that it doesn't work or the people that get angry for zero reason. But I mean, shit, it doesn't bother me because I mean I'm sitting here. I I don't even want to play COD until uh, for the next like 20 or so days uh, until Modern Warfare 3 comes out. I'm just excited for that game to come out and make more content on that because my recent video on that was fucking hilarious and I loved that. Um, that was a lot of fun to make and play and just the shit talk is just feels good i'm excited to get get back to the new game I mean, that's pretty much it i mean like guys it's it still works i mean or in reality it would be so much easier and like there would be less of a problem if you just bit the bullet and bought black ops 2 but i understand why people don't want to 
because it's fucking sixty dollars. It's act it's actually wild though. I it actually blows my mind. But yeah, short little update video there. I don't know. Gotta milk the Plutonia videos as much as I can. Am I right? <laughs> Got me feeling like fucking the dude from Adve Adventure Capitalist, you know? But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave like, subscribe, all that stuff. You know the deal. Not gonna hold you too much longer. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have fun. <laughs>